Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my kitchen, the place where magic happens. In this video, I want to show you a easy, delicious, full of flavor, menudo. Menudo is perfect for the weekends. It is the weekend, which is why I decided to make it. It is super easy, super good, and it looks just like this. So if you want to learn how to make this, don't touch that channel. Don't go anywhere. And I am going to show you how right now. Check, check it. There it is. For this recipe, I am using cubed tripe. Also, fresh tripe. The fresh tripe I cut into small pieces. I use patas de res between two to three. A lot of garlic. Garlic gives the menudo great flavor. Piece of onion. Three laurel leaves, also known as bay leaves. And you cannot forget your hominy, your Mexican hominy. Those are the ingredients. Let's get started. What I did here, I disinfected my sink. So make sure if you're going to do it in the sink, disinfect it really well. You can also do this in a big bowl. The sink seems to work good for me. I'm tossing in my meat, both tripes. The patas, I'm just leaving as is. And here, I begin the process of just removing the cube tripe and cutting those into smaller pieces or any other pieces that I think are big, I just make them smaller. Now, I just pretty much grab all the meat together and try to remove as much lard as possible. This is a process that took me about 20 minutes. So, as long as you see that there is no more lard left in the water, then you should be good. And what I do is I clean, take out the water, pour more water, and clean again. So just repeat the process. And FYI, some people would rather not clean their menudo. We do not like grease on top of our menudo, which is why I do clean mine. Also, if you do not like the smell of the menudo, once you finish cleaning off all the lard, what you can do is put more water. You're gonna put some vinegar and some lime juice and you're going to leave it for one hour. So here I am doing my last clean. Once you are content with how clean your meat is, 
Now you're going to put it in a pot, add some water, and go ahead and start adding all the other stuff. Here is the feet, the patas. The patas give it good flavor, so you don't want to miss out on not putting that in there. Add your piece of onion. Add your laurel. And add your garlic. I do like to add a lot of garlic because garlic gives menudo a good flavor too. So I toss all that in there. Cover it and that is going to cook from two to three hours just until the meat is real, real tender. I like my meat super tender. Uh, mine normally takes two to three hours. So just keep checking on it. While the menudo is over there getting cooked, we're going to start on our chili for the menudo. The chili that I like to use, I like to use guajillo and I like to use Chile California. Once in a while, I will toss in some red chili powder. I might, I might not, we will see. And I am also going to use some chile de árbol. This is about, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is about 10. You don't have to add that, but we want our menudo spicy. So I am going to add that. Let's go to the stove. What you want to do first is get your chili and remove this stem and you want to remove as much seeds as possible. Off of video, what I did, I removed the stem and in the trash can, I just removed as much seeds as I can. You don't have to remove all of them if you if you can't and that's just fine and what you, you're gonna do is just save them in your pot and then what we do after that is we're gonna toast them on a comal you're gonna heat up a comal and we are going to slightly toast these don't over toast them because then they do taste all bitter and just awful. So you really just want to toast them until you actually can smell the chili aroma. And it only takes a few. I could already smell that aroma coming from that chili. So I know they're nice and toasted. We're just gonna put them in our pot and continue on with the other chilies. You want to also do that with the chile de árbol if you're using it. I rinse the chilies in water just to clean off any dirt that might have been left on there. I put water in it. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. My water has come to a boil. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cover this and I'm gonna turn off the stove and just let my chili sit there in the vapor for 20 minutes. 
the menudo has been cooking right now already for two hours. What I like to do after it's cooked for about around two hours, I like to just go in here and take out like the laurel that I added in there. And I also like to find the onion and the garlic that I added in there. That because I like to use that when I blend my chili. I add that to the chili in the blender. Not the laurel leaves, I dispose of those. Here I found a garlic. And here I found some onion. I opened up my can of hominy. I'm going to use a little bit more than half the can. I'm not going to use all the can because it's not much menudo that I'm making. What I do is I strain it, take out the water. You can rinse this off. If you like, you can just leave it like that. I'm going to rinse it off just a little bit. After two hours that the menudo has been cooking, one hour before it's even completely done, I like to add the hominy in there. You want to add it around that time so that the hominy gets time to cook and get softened. You don't want hard hominy. When your hominy has all been placed in there, Just put the cover back on and we're going to start with our chili. When your chilies are done and softened, we're going to start blending it. I got this much onion and garlic, which is enough. You can add more if you want. Add your chilies to the blender. Okay, looks like I got it all. And we're going to add some water from where it was from where the chili was cooked. Just add enough to cover the the chilies. And go ahead and add in what you took out from your pot, the onion and the garlic. And I'm going to add in some garlic powder. We're gonna blend this up. My blender has puree option I can blend it also but I happen to like the puree option
to run this twice. So I'm going to do it one more time. Now I'm just going to strain my chili. You can strain it right into your menudo, but I'm going to strain it right in here and then I will add it to the menudo after. When your chili has been strained, we're going to go ahead and add it in here. And you pretty much just know how much chili you are going to need in here. I'm going to add just that much, so I am going to save this. When you have added your chili, you want to also add some oregano in there. I got this much. Mix that in there. You don't have to add too much because when it's done and it's served, people will add their own oregano to it. I am going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of this chili powder, which is Chile Nuevo Mexico Molido. It's ground New Mexico chili. And this is the powder one that I do normally add. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to go ahead and add it. So a little bit of that. Get that mixed in. I am also going to toss in at this point when it's almost done, I like to toss in a little bit of chicken flavor bouillon. I use pretty much like this spoon right here. And I throw in two of these. And that gives your menudo excellent flavor also. And after an excruciating three hours of having to wait for this delicious menudo, it is done. After three hours of waiting and waiting, oh, I have been waiting for this. This menudo is done. It smells so perfect. Where's the smell o vision? And look at that. The meat is tender. The hominy is soft. And this has a lot, a lot of flavor. It's time to serve it up in our bowl. It is all done. Look at this deliciousness right here. Mm. You probably want to come in here, huh? And sit here and have dinner with us. Well, here is my bowl. So good. And we like to serve it with all this other stuff. We've got our limon. Oregano, onion, we do have bread, and what I did here, 
I made these bolis. If you want the recipe for that, I will leave it in the link down below or up here, but it will be somewhere in here. And what I did was I just add, cut it in half, put some butter and toasted it in the oven. And these are the actual bolillos right here. Homemade bolillos for homemade menudo. And of course, some of us like crackers with cream cheese. So perfect meal. It was really easy to make. So now we're gonna try it. Gonna throw in some limon. Put some oregano on there. Put your onion. Here goes. Bon appetit. Grab your bread. Truly, truly delicious menudo. The ingredients just come all come together to give it that great flavor. The meat is super soft. It is really tender. It is not hard. And the hominy too. I've been to restaurants where they serve the menudo and the meat and the hominy is hard. I don't like that. I like mine very tender. Well, there you go, everybody. Hope you like this recipe. Hope you make it, and if you do, share it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell, so you can be notified every time I make a recipe. You don't wanna miss out on any of my recipes. Also, don't forget to share this recipe. The world wants to know. We will see you in my next video. Thank you and thanks for your support. Bye.